everyone, this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Today I have a really fun arts and crafts project for you. It's creating a last minute Halloween Beetlejuice costume for my Halloween party this year. So what I've done is I've gone to my local department store and I've searched out all the sale racks and I found this really great gown in the prom department for less than $20. So this is my inspiration. So Beetlejuice usually has vertical stripes, this is horizontal, but you know what, I'm not going to worry about that. This is not a cosplay exact Beetlejuice replica costume. This is just something that I'm throwing together at the last minute. So I'm hoping to get this done in less than an hour, possibly an hour and a half. So join me and I'll show you exactly how I do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on Beetlejuice's hair. You know, you could purchase a wig for this if you're really pressed for time, but I think it's more authentic if you use your own hair. So whether you have short hair, medium length hair, or long hair, this look is going to work. All you need are a few great supplies. So I have a one and a half inch wide white headband. I have some moss that I'm going to glue to it so it'll go all along the hairline because that's what Beetlejuice has. I have some white hairspray. I have some dry shampoo. I have really great extreme control hairspray. I've got some combs. I've got a rat tail comb. Now this is the most important part of the entire process. You need a rat tail comb or this will not work for you. You also need a blow dryer to keep everything in place and you need a hot glue gun. So I have part of the costume already on and so this is a white turtleneck. It's what I'm using for the costume. I'm tucking this in and keeping a shirt over the top of it so it doesn't get dirty during this process. And what I need at this point is un washed hair. So it's a day old and what I'm doing, I'm putting a little bit of dry shampoo into the top of it just to give it a little bit of extra body so I can get this hair to kind of stick up kind of crazy like Beetlejuice has. So I'm just going to get this incorporated in. Now from this point, I'm taking the rat tail comb and I'm getting this to lay nice and smooth. If you've never used combs like this before, the way to use these so that they hold nice and tight is to push them back just like this. You kind of drag it over the spot and these are just being held in place temporarily. Now this is what I'm doing to create this receding hairline that Beetlejuice has. So once you're done with the combs, if you have any stray hairs in this area, all you're going to do is take the hairspray, spray it, and then go ahead and hit it with that rat tail comb. It'll take care of any stray hairs and get everything to lay nice and flat. Then I'm going to partition my hair into two sections. So I have the top section that I'm just going to put a ponytail holder in temporarily, and I'm going to work at teasing the bottom layers of my hair. Now the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the rat tail comb and I'm just going to come up like this and then I'm going to spray it. Then I'll take a blow dryer and set this in place. Now that I'm happy with the bottom layer of my hair, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some white hairspray. You need to shake this before each use. And I'll repeat the process on the rest of the hair. Now the secret to this is really starting at the base of the hair and kind of working your way up. This is the easiest way to get this to stand straight up. Now I'm just going ahead and readjusting all my combs, making sure they're nice and tight again. I'm going to give it one last fluff and I'm going to spray it with some hairspray and then blow dry it while my head is upside down, just so that it'll stay in place for the remainder of the evening. Now I'll take my white hairspray again and go over the entire surface of my hair. So just as an FYI, do this near an open window like me or outside. Now that my hair is done, it only took about 10 minutes, you can expect the same length of time on your end to do your hair. I'm going to go ahead and start with my foundation. Now I do have foundation primer on my entire face because I don't want to put any clown makeup directly onto my skin. So now that that's done, I also have false eyelashes applied. Now that could take an hour in itself if you've never done it before, so you don't need to do it for this project, but it's the one time a year that I don't feel uncomfortable wearing them, so I do. Now I have clown makeup for this and what I'm doing is I'm just using the white version and I'm applying it to my face with a sponge applicator. So I'm going to do it kind of heavy and then just kind of rub it in. 
that you can kind of contour this as you go. And you see, I'm not looking for a perfectly even white surface here. I kind of like to have highlights and lowlights, and I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. You know, Beetlejuice is a poltergeist. He's kind of like a dead, rotting corpse. So we really need this to be kind of creepy and uneven looking. So now that I have a good start with the base makeup, I'm going to go ahead with the eye makeup. Now you know, Beetlejuice has these dark black eye sockets. I'm going to do this with a little bit of purple because I think it'll look really great, kind of looking like a bruised area. Um, so this is just really following all along your own eye socket and just kind of filling this in with some black, again, clown makeup. So I have this, I'm going to go over the top of it with some eyeshadow because I think that'll be a little easier to blend in. I think it looks pretty good with a little dab of yellow just underneath the bottom lash and so I'll go ahead and fill it in with some black. And you see what I'm doing with my finger here? I'm kind of blending this in. I don't want this to be exactly perfect, like a perfect circle. It really needs to look like it's, you know, naturally bruised and kind of decaying. And the secret to getting this just to be perfect is to keep layering. So now that my eyes are all done, I'm going to go ahead and start contouring my face. So I've got some gray eyeshadow I'm going to do this with and kind of come in and make sure that I have some cheekbones here and some creepy areas around my mouth, you know, kind of as if it's caved in in these areas and decaying. So you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. So really, that's all there is to Beetlejuice makeup. It took maybe another 10 minutes. So we're 20 minutes in. Let's go ahead and take care of the headband. Ooh, Kenzie's gonna help. Hey, Kenz. Okay, so now I'm working on the headband. So what I have here are several different colors of moss. I'm just gonna keep gluing these until I kind of get the right configuration here. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some glue right to the headband and stick this in place. Now let's try it on and see how we did. I think this looks great, but I'd also like some moss coming down my face. So the thing I'm going to do here is take a little bit of makeup remover and remove areas of my makeup in spots. Now that this area is clean, I'm going to take a little piece of moss that I'm going to stick into this spot. And I'm using something called spirit gum. Now spirit gum is just a liquid. Uh, it's an adhesive. It has a little brush. I'm going to brush this onto the back side of the moss until it gets sticky. Sticky enough where I can go ahead and apply it to my face and it'll stick for the remainder of the evening. Now it took about a minute for this to become tacky, so I'm going to apply it to my face. So now that the moss is adhered, I'm going to go ahead and with these bright green areas, I'm just going to tone them down a little bit and I'm just going to hit them with a little bit of silver eyeshadow. Well, that's it for the makeup. So now it's time to get dressed. So one of the funniest things about the Beetlejuice costume is that he wore a tie as if he were a gentleman or something. And so, you know, my tie is not plain black like his was. It's got polka dots on it. But this is one thing about Halloween costumes is that you really do need to raid your closets and try to find the most accurate thing, doesn't have to be exactly perfect, um, that'll kind of get you the look that you're going for. And I actually think this is gonna look really cute once it's all done. So there's my tie all in place and I'll show you the whole rest of the costume.
Well, believe it or not, you can create a one-of-a-kind costume just like I did, simply by pulling items out of your own closet and adding them to some new pieces. So this took me a little over an hour and it was less than $40. And you can expect to have the same kind of results simply by following along my tutorial, step-by-step -step instruction process, and applying it to your own costume. This is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. I'll keep bringing you these great arts and crafts projects and all you have to do in return is like, share, subscribe, and follow, and I'll keep bringing you these great projects in the future. Happy Halloween.